Hey everybody, this is Matt Chris Wall coming to you up close and personal. How you doing? Hey look, I hope that you guys are doing okay out there in this uh, crazy pandemic world. You know, it's just, it could be a little bit uh, disheartening, a little bit rough, but you know what? Hang out with me a little bit. We're going to have some fun together. Don't worry about all that stuff. Um, you're going to be fine here. We're going to listen to some music. We're going to check out some TikToks that are actually funny. That's what this video is called. I'm going to check it out. So join me and let's see if it's actually funny. Um, listen, we all have our, our own idea of what we think is funny. Um, <clears throat> some of us just have a sense of humor, but aren't exactly funny. Uh, and some of us are just downright funny. These kids and these people in these videos, some of them are, you know, really funny and some of them not so funny, but we'll check it out. Anyway, boom. What do we got? All right, let's see here. Will I get a boyfriend? All right, fair enough. Will I get a girlfriend? Oh, will this video go viral? Oh, should the person watching this video follow me? You should follow me. Because what the fuck? I don't know what the fuck that was. Uh, should I get a tattoo? Mm. Should I get a fucking motorcycle? Probably not. Not safe. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I bought a black suit and set him a fuck with people. Okay. Oh, jeez. We have your we son. We have your son. Meg's our daughter. Hi. My partner and I want to have a baby. We'd like a vial of sperm and an applicator that looks like Jodie Foster's knuckles. Certainly. Let me just go to the freezer. <laughs> that, that, that's a little Mr. funny Griffin, to me, man. you're in there an awfully long time. Are you all right? Yep, yep, fine, fine. And uh, just so you know, everything in there is exactly the way it was when I went in. There was absolutely zero chance that I spilled all the jars and had to refill them with my own sperm. Zero chance. Hey, Chris, <laughs> you are responsible for guarding the camp while we're fishing. You got it, Dad. You, you know. can count on me to... Chris, pay attention. I want you to... <laughs> Hi, Dad. Don't wait up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Lisa. Come back here. You're not going out with all that makeup on. Yeah. But, Dad... Upstairs... You're a McDonald, not a whore. I was watching something on TV about this guy named Hitler. <gasps> Somebody should stop him. Is she retarded? I'm here with rides at 10 speed everywhere, guy. <laughs> Sir, why are you riding your 10 speed in the rain? I don't mind. A little drizzle never hurt anybody. Uh, I like riding the 10 speed because it's fun, uh, gives me energy, and it's a great way to stay in shape. How long have you lived in Quahog? Well, I used to live in the city, but I decided moving here would be a little more relaxing, a little more manageable, and it's a great way to stay in shape. So, is, uh, is this like the part where you guys have your way with me? What? You know, where I'm like helpless and you guys take turns, you know? Oh, no! Oh, God! Oh, no, 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 no! What'd she say? She asked if we were gonna have our way with her. Ew! No, seriously, I won't scream or anything. No! No, I, I, no, no sale. Come on! I'm pretty! Ah! 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 <sighs> Are you okay? Yeah, I was so scared. a long time since I killed a Jedi. That kid almost looked like the, the the kid from Dexter. Have you guys been watching the new Dexter? That kid almost looked like him, but maybe with a little bit, you know, longer hair. I don't know what you think about that, but let's check it out together. Maybe not. The Jedi. <laughs> I've been watching Dexter. I love the show. It's great. You got to check it out. I love almost could be dangerous. I like the music a little bit though. It was kind of hip. 
Let me hip. Actually, I did a reaction to uh, Keith Murray on Dangerous Ground. The, the song is called Dangerous Ground. Check that out. If you like, you know, 80s and 90s hip hop, Keith Murray, Dangerous Ground. It's somewhere like I have a, a playlist. I think it's uh, hip hop or, or rap or something like that. Whatever. Check it out. Look for it. Awesome song. Awesome song. Prove me wrong. I'm telling you, I think you're going to love it. Really. I didn't get it. Some dreadlocks. Blood 19 with a beam at your head top. Full at the AK-47 aiming at you, that's a dead off. And I got a little nigga wondering, like, what is this shit? Okay. You can take a small bite. Just bite the corner like this. Oh. Listen, just bite it. Oh, look at that dog. Gentle. Boy. Oh, my God. I love dogs. I have a dog. I might have a chihuahua. That he's turning into a Labrador or something midsize because he eats so much. He's like me, you know. He he's a comfort eater. He loves to he loves to the comfort that food brings, and he's a sweetheart like like me, and uh, and he likes to well he likes to eat. He's he's a little overweight, and uh, like me. Let's play the game Red Flags. I'm gonna set you up on a date, and you're gonna tell me if you would smash or pass. Okay, here's your date. Your date believes you are the most attractive person they've ever seen. They also know exactly how to get you in the mood. Okay, but thinks you should stay at home and make babies. Also, they make more money than you. One fucking time. One more fucking time. Repeat after me. Red. Red. Blue. Blue. Green. <clears throat> Purple. Purple. Maroon. Maroon. What color is the grass? Green. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Get out. <laughs> Get the fuck out. The fuck? Get out! What, 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 repeat after what? me! Repeat me! I am repeating after you. No, fuck you not! Damn it! Oh, okay. okay. Oh! Get the fuck out! Alright, go one time. Nope. Nope. What? I did not get that. I didn't get it. What's my soap so square? What did you do to my soap? You shaved it. I Why shaved? did you shave I, it? I thought I used it. You shaved my soap, yeah, you I fucking weirdo. That. Did you think I was gonna notice? No. Did you? Why'd you shave it? <laughs> Sorry. You took my cup away, you have to replace it. You know, man, that's funny though, but but <clears throat> but seriously, when you go over to somebody's house and they have like a bar of soap like that, there's some gross stuff that could be on there. I don't know. I prefer the pump soap. <laughs> More sanitary. You ever see a hair on a soap that it's not from your, it's not from so, like at someone's house and it's not from their head? It's fucking the pubes, man. They just they have this wiry, weird, thick, you know, like they they just they're just off putting, off putting. God. She had a nice sense of humor about it, huh? Told my Italian Wait, Uncle Tony my date something. made me pay two hundred fifty dollars. Can't tell my mom. You pregnant? No. Is that why you got the stomach band on? <laughs> don't tell my mom. What? All right. So yesterday. I don't talk to your mom. Don't That's tell okay. her. So last night I went on a date with this guy from Jersey City. Lower that. I am. It's all about me right now. Yeah, I'm trying to find out how to lower the fuck. So I went on a date with my mom with this guy, okay, from Jersey City last yeah. night. And it was good. We were having fun. And at the end, he goes, you better pay for this bill. Yeah. Why didn't you fucking call me? It was $250. Why didn't you fucking call me? 
I don't know. You and were I, on a date and he said to you, you better pay for this bill? Yeah. It was $250. He embarrassed me so bad. <clears throat> I would have got up and walked out and said, fuck Someone you, you pay for the, bill, for the bill, asshole. I did, and he's like, you better pay. He goes, this is what's wrong with you girls nowadays. Give me this motherfucker's number. No. Give me his fucking number. You're never going to see him again. You're never going to see this motherfucker again if he made you fight if he put that to you. Give me his fucking number now. No, I name. don't want you to do that. Give me his fucking number and his name now. <laughs> it's. It was just a prank, Uncle Tony. That's why you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm gonna stop it there you know i gotta tell you i think that's funny i like the guy you know he i'm a bronx boy myself i'm from the guy i think it's from jersey city who knows he sounds like a new yorker to me but uh i'm from the bronx i'm an italian american from the bronx uh and then from the bronx i moved up to a, a town called darien connecticut which is as white bread as you can get and I loved both dichotomies. I really do. And I think and I'm so grateful that I had the, that, you know, that that experience of both of those different worlds. Um, you know, we're all products of our environment and, you know, everybody's got their story. And uh, mine is not unique, you know, but uh, but it certainly is mine. And I like it. I'm glad that I was able to grow up uh, in the Bronx a little bit and and uh, play stoop ball and uh, manhunt and play stick ball and you know and run around in the streets in the bronx off pelham parkway and morris park and williams bridge road uh some of you guys know what i'm talking about but then we moved up to darien connecticut and we were hanging out with the uh you know with the yuppies and the, the you know the young you know the people from the darien and we were in Rowayton. uh it's a part of norwalk which wants to be darien um, and had that other, you know, uh, that other experience, which was really great too, you know, both wonderful. <laughs> so, you know, I can be very proper and I can be like, Hey, I you know, and, uh, oh God, don't get me started. Anyway. Hey, look, by the way, if you guys like these shirts, check these shirts out. It's, uh, you know, a nice little, uh, t-shirt. And then I have these, uh, I got these, you know, sweatpants that you can get, uh, on, uh, you know, on, 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 on the link in the description below, that's my mug back there. You can, they're really cool stuff. I wear this stuff all the time myself. I'm probably my best customer. But, um, you know, check it out if you like that kind of stuff. It supports the channel, but you're really going to like this stuff. It's great quality. They wouldn't, you know, it, it's a popular company. So anyway, that's about what um, I think about all this stuff. I thought it was okay. It's not incredible. You know, didn't make me, uh, it's not, it didn't make me belly laugh, but, uh, you know, I thought it was okay. What do you think? Put it in the comments below. Tell me what you want me to react to. I'll check it out. And I do heart all of the video, all of your comments. I read them all. I check them out. It's a, it's a big part of my day. And, uh, look, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And you take it easy. And if it's real easy, take it twice. Oh.